Hi everybody, today we're going to go over how to use the Pick Forward templates. It's really simple and easy and you can follow these steps to make your own beautiful green screen drawings right inside a Chromebook or a MacBook or uh, anything right inside Google Drawings. So here we go. So you're going to start here in your address bar and you will type bit.ly slash pick forward 001. So that's um, the first template. And you'll click enter. Hit enter. And it should open up for you. Now it's going to ask you to make a copy. So you're going to click on the blue button to make a copy. Now it will open the template up for you that's all ready to go. It's all housed within Google Drawings and it's you don't need to leave Google Drawings. You can just do this directly on a Chromebook or a laptop or a PC uh, by using the link that I just showed you. So to start off, we've got a blank canvas here and we've got our green screened images where the uh, backgrounds have been removed. If you're interested in learning how to take out the background of images, you can check out my other tutorial videos above by clicking on the link. So here we go. We need a background for our green screen uh, photo. So basically there's a instructions here if you forget, but we're going to go to insert and then image. Now if you've got a photo uh, that you've taken of where you're from and you'd like to do that, you can just upload it and choose an image to upload by clicking on the blue here and find it on your hard drive to upload. But for this case, we're going to search for an image using uh, Google here. So I'm going to go where the cursor is and type, let's see, Streets of London. I'm going to click on the search button with the magnifying glass. Now I'm going to look through and see which background image I prefer for my pick forward photo. So uh, this one's looking nice. Got the nice red phone booth there. Um, so then we're going to click select. It will open up right onto our canvas. So we can readjust the size by holding down our mouse and dragging the uh, corner buttons here and dragging them down as well so that we fill up the whole canvas. If the photo is smaller and you'd like to resize the canvas, you can do so by clicking anywhere on the canvas, then going to this uh, shaded area here in the corner, and you can lift the canvas to resize that as well if that's something you'd like to do. So the next step is to take one of our characters, our students, and put them inside the photo. So, uh, are on top. So what you'll notice when you click on it and drag it in is that she's unfortunately behind. So we're going to have to fix that. Click anywhere on your photo, um, outside of this blue area, and do a right click or a to finger click on a Chromebook and go to order and you want to send your background to the back so you're going to send it to back and there you go our picture now of our student pops up so I'm going to drag the handle here to make her a bit larger so that it makes more sense so we'll drag her in like that I think that's probably a good size. It's rainy in London, so this photo is appropriate. I'm thinking I want some more action happening, so why don't we put this person back here, maybe throwing a football on the street. Um, so now, the next thing to jazz it up a bit might be to add a speech bubble or two or a thought bubble. So to do that, we're going to go to the toolbar at the top and click on the shapes and go to callouts. And uh, we're going to do a speech bubble here. So maybe um, we'll drag it. And you can put, click on the little uh, yellow square. And when it turns to a plus sign, it means you can drag where the uh, speech bubble is is being used. So 
Also, when you double click inside a speech bubble, so the cursor appears. So you can write right into it without adding a separate text box. So let's say, watch out. Okay. Um, let's say you don't like the color of this text box you, or of this um, speech bubble. You can click on it. Click on the fill color paint can and change it to maybe white or even maybe red. Totally up to you. It's the sky is the limit on how you want this to look. Uh, you can highlight the words and change the font. There's something else that you enjoy if you want to make it bigger so it's easier to read. You can do that. You can even center it to make it look more clean. So she's throwing a football. This girl seems like she's enjoying the rain. So maybe we can have her saying, um, another speech bubble. Double click inside. Singing in the rain. So maybe she likes to sing in the rain. Great. Maybe her speech bubble is going to be blue and maybe we want to use the same writing so we'll highlight it go to our fonts click on the font we like make the words a bit larger we could center them there you go so you finished a pick forward maybe you want to add a text box with um, where you are located so you could stretch out your text box and just write London, UK. Great, we're going to highlight it, put it on the same font, make it bold, make it a bit larger. And see how that's a bit hard to read? So what we can do is click on the lettering and again, click on our paint can and make the background a different color to make it easier to read. And then we can change the size of our box so that it fits nicely. And we can move that anywhere on the canvas that we like. So there you have it. You've now got a finished pick forward photo that you can share with us on our website at bit.ly slash pick forward or you can find us on Twitter at pick forward or Instagram at pick forward. Be sure to use the hashtag when you share anything with us so we're sure to find it. The last step you would like to know about probably is to save this image. So just a heads up, uh, all of the stuff on the sides that isn't on the canvas will not be included in your downloaded image. So you will go to File, Download As. You can just pick a JPEG image like this and it will only download what's within the canvas again. So nothing on the sides, those other images that you didn't choose will not be included. So it will download and it will house it in your um, downloaded files on your computer or Chromebook. And there you have it, then you can share it out with us. So I hope that was an easy tutorial and that you can participate in Pick Forward and that we'll see some of your awesome creations very soon. Also, if you weren't aware, we've got a program called Pick Perfect, where we pick our favorite photo every month and feature it on our student blog. We can't wait to see what you come up with. Wow!